guys. I am doing this last minute. Um, it's Saturday and I just wanted to go ahead and do this. I wasn't going to have time, but uh, my husband took my mom and Santino to the um, little area where you can go like this little swap meet. It's like outdoors, but it's really, really nice. My mom loves it there and uh, she he took them. So I thought I would jump on here and tell you about a few things um, because I had the time. I was excited I had some time. So here are some more reviews. This is, should be shorter because there's less stuff here, but it's stuff that you guys wanted to know about. I, I you know, I read in the comments when I did the um, hauls for these things. So I won't be swatching everything. I've swatched everything here for you in a haul previously, either the drugstore haul or the Sephora haul, that kind of a thing. But I wanted to tell you about these products. First off, Milani's Make It Last Setting Spray. Now I only used this a couple times because I was really testing out the Urban Decay ones that I, I wanna tell you about, and that'll be in a future video. But I really like this setting spray. It's called Make It Last. It's kind of smaller, it's two point, zero three ounces and I really liked it. Um, I like the way it doesn't smell crazy. Um, what I liked about it is a lot of setting sprays kind of tighten up on me like for a little while. It doesn't last all day. This one just feels like you're spraying like pure water on your face yet it does make your makeup stay on. Um, so I really, really liked it. I, I, I am excited to use it more, um, but I'm so glad. This has got to be my favorite um, drugstore primer, and I just, I hope more people compete with them, but I think they've got a really, really good setting spray here, and I recommend you try it. I definitely do. Um, I just noticed a big difference as compared to, you know, the Makeup Forever one that I use, Urban Decay. I use two of theirs. Um, I use one by Pixi. I just noticed a difference overall in the Milani as compared to those. So I, I recommend you try that and it's a, at a great price point as well. And I can see myself using this up and you know, I don't know, that can be either good or bad, but I can see myself using it up because I probably would do like, every time I did it, I only do two sprays. I'm not like, I don't bathe in it, but yeah, I could see myself using it up, which is nice. You know, it's not gonna be this huge humongous bottle that, you know, won't get any use or, you know, it'll take me forever to use. The other one that I tried for you, this was in the Sephora haul, is the Basha White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. These long names, I love them. Um, this, you all warned me, and you were absolutely correct, because I tried it without, you know, on a day I wasn't going anywhere, I tried to just spray it, and you're right, it leaves like kind of white gray like spots on your face so you have to shake this mug up every time you get it now they have it in a sample size that's what this is it's one fluid ounce and they have it in a larger size um it does do mattifying i liked it um I just think I have primers that do a better job than this spray, so I won't repurchase. I'll definitely get my money's worth and use this up. I think it was a decent price though. I think it was like 12 bucks for this one ounce, just to try it out. Um, but definitely I had to shake it up real good each time. I just think I have primers that get me where I wanna go mattifying wise. <laughs> where would get me where? Anyway, you know what I mean. I think primers that do a decent, I have primers that I set up you know, put down under my foundation that do as much as that spray does. So I'll just use it up and everything and uh, we'll be good. This I loved. This was from, uh, is from Smashbox. It's their photo finish lid primer and they have it in different colors. They have a white one, a dark one, like if you have a dark eye look. This is the, uh, or it's a black one actually, I think. But this one is dark and this is a great lid color. If you're around my skin tone, this is a great lid color that totally cancels out what's going on on your lids and I got a lot going on in my lid, discoloration, that kind of a thing. Totally cancels that out, holds my eyeshadow in place. Really great two for one kind of a deal. So again, this is from Smashbox and I got the color in dark. They make a white one if you want like to use brighter, brighter you know, eyeshadow colors that'll really make them pop. They want one, make one, it's uh, really dark and it's um, you know for like deeper, like smoky looks but that is the one that is great for my lids. I, I fell in love with that. That is really good. I used that, ended up using that every day after the first day I tested it out. I used it today, always use it. This was a fail for me. This is from Real Techniques and um, this is their sponge. I brought the package out for the other ones, but yeah. 
hard very very hard did not enjoy using this probably won't use this again it just stays hard it doesn't do the whole plump up and use it kind of a thing doesn't do all of that total waste of money for me total total waste now this rail techniques bold metals collection uh, miracle diamond sponge i really liked once once i figure out where how i wanted to hold it um, but you know, you can use the tip, you know, if you, for the corners of your eyes, and I use the bottom to do my foundation today. Um, so I really recommend this. This is nice. It plumps up to a nice size after you, you know, get it wet. So that was definitely passing grade. The other one, super fail, okay? Um, this guy is so good. Um, this is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. I love it. I think everybody can get in get into this because it's good for medium skin tones. Um, I loved it. I can use definitely a lot of the colors. There's only one or two colors here that aren't one, two, maybe three. Yeah, the third one. I used that one. Yeah, so two colors that I didn't really get into. You could use them if you're my skin tone. You can use them kind of like almost like highlights or blush toppers, that kind of a thing, the two that are too light. Um, so yeah, this is a great fit if you're like medium or you know my skin tone. Um, I don't know if you're very, very fair, if this is gonna be okay for you. If you are very, very fair and you have this, let us all know in the comments um, if you like this type of thing. I think with a light hand, it isn't so powerfully pigmented that you're gonna look like a clown. With a light touch, I think you could wear this, but I'm not sure if you're super fair, if you're gonna really be into this, but I loved it. I'm glad. I hope they do more like this in different like, you know, setups. That would be good. This is the Hourglass, um, let's see girl um gosh the whole name of it isn't on here this is a shade inventor and i only got one of these i believe these are in their third like 32 dollars or something like that it's very very nice i wore this yesterday um i wore it a couple times and it's very very nice but for the price point i wouldn't recommend it because you can find things that are, that are just as gorgeous at a much better price point um it's nice to have like i really love this color inventor um but yeah, they came out with a whole bunch of these. And if you go to Sephora, you'll see the colors are gorgeous. But if you really, really fall, I would say if you really, really fall in love with a color, go for it. But if not, it might be a little bit of a, you know, you know, it's nothing that's going to dazzle you for, you know, that price point, um, which I feel like it should It'll dazzle you a little bit. It's a very nice moisturizing formula, though. It is. It's great. It was great on my lips and my lips are drier this, you know, winter and all. This Benefit Air Patrol came out a long time ago and I always wanted to try it. I tried it. It's nothing special. I will use it up, but I wouldn't repurchase um, the little wonky little tip the little rubber tip kind of freaks me out because I'm a germaphobe. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a great, you know, primer. It keeps my eyeshadows in place, but nothing so special that I would repurchase it again. Um, this was so interesting to me. Um, this was sent to me. They sent, they were nice. Bobbi Brown, they sent like two, 12 or 13 colors. And this is the Bobbi Brown Art Stick Liquid Lip. Let me tell you, this is really interesting because this is not your traditional liquid lipstick. Um, I really, really liked it. I didn't have to touch up all day. I didn't have to touch up once. I have the color Uber Red that is what I was testing out. I really strongly, strongly dislike the packaging and the way that you, you know, the delivery system, let's say. <sighs> okay, you squeeze this to get the product to come out. I'm not so crazy about that, but okay. But then the tip that you use to put the color on, it's so impossible to get a precise thing. You know, I. Oh my God, I didn't put this on. I tried this several days and I didn't get this on correctly without having to like use my finger to, you know, I was drawing outside the lines with this constantly. It was like a really bad crayon <laughs> because if you look at the tip, it's just like that. So you, it's really hard to get a precise line around, you know, the edges, you know, and then fill in. It, it's just impossible. The formula. This is not your traditional liquid lipstick at all. This is more like a moisturizing matte lipstick. So it doesn't dry down um, till, you know, totally dry down. It feels creamy for like the first five, six, five, yeah, five hours or so. It feels like a creamy, it gets on your, you know, coffee cup or whatever. It gets on your cup. It, you know, Santino went like this. It got all over his fingers. He went like grabbing for my face. He, it got all over his fingers. So it's not going to be the type of thing that um, doesn't transfer, but it feels better than 
any other almost liquid lipstick that I've ever had. It feels great, creamy, didn't have to touch it all day. I tried this four days, you know, here and there over the last, you know, since I've had it, I didn't touch up once. I put it on the other day. We went to the doctor's. I, uh, we left here at like seven o'clock for the doctor's office. I didn't touch up at lunch. I went through t lunch, dinner, took it off probably eight o'clock around there. I hadn't touched up all day. It looked like I just put it on. I love these, <laughs> but I hate the little applicator. I hate the applicator. I don't like pushing it to get it to come out, but it's an amazing product. I'm glad I have a lot of colors. I have a lot of pinks to try. Um, this was really interesting. I have a little bit of, a lot of this actually on my eye. I want a little nutso. This is the Stila, um, the Magnificent Metals. And I remember I was telling you, I'm going to test these for like the normal person, okay? Let me tell you what this normal person, like not expert, makeup expert person. Let me tell you what happened with me with this. I really, really liked it. It's an amazing smooth, you put it all on your lids and it's smooth, it doesn't move. Do not go in, and you guys told me, do not go in with a brush. Do not do anything. Do your whole eye look and then go in with this. You can't use a brush with this after you put it on. Don't put your brush. The only thing I was able to do after trying, you know, I got four different colors so I tried three of them. Um, the only thing you can do with this, <sighs> The only thing you can do with this is if you do make a mistake and you want to get some of it off, if you can uh, put a little uh, cleansing water on uh, a Q-tip, you can get it up. You can get the product up off of your eye easily. But yeah, you can't go in with a brush. You can, you might have to just start all over if you make a mistake is basically what I'm saying. So I really liked it. It looks gorgeous when it's on. It looks gorgeous. It's just you can't you know, blend around it or whatever. I tried one day to just blend around it. Yeah, I ended up glitter all over me. And you're gonna see if you look at, I know looking in the mirror before I came on here, I had glitter down here. Is glitter, it'll come down. It'll come down during the day, but it's so beautiful at night. You know, if you go out at night, I would say totally go with this. This is gonna look amazing on your eyes. So I, I ended up loving it. I really did. I was a little skeptical, but I ended up loving it because they have a really good formula. So I recommend those. At least try one and, you know, see where you go with it. See if it's, you know, the thing for you and you might want other colors. I think you might get seduced into getting other colors after you see how amazing the one you try looks. Um, this, Urban Decay, uh, the Vice Liquid Lipstick. I heard horrible things about this and I was really surprised like it's dry it's not my favorite formula I could use it with balm um I thought it was going to come apart on my lips that's what I had been hearing it didn't come apart at all it dried it took a little longer to dry than most um when it dried it kind of gave me the raisin lips so I was like oh this is tight because I always test them out first without any balm anything on my lips I test them out to see how they do with no you know help <laughs> so yeah it, it wasn't as I, I just think it's a dry formula so out of all the formulas that you know to get it's not like the top one um this is the color firebird which is gorgeous i'm glad i got this color because i'm so in love with the color and i can put gloss over top of it i have a similar color gloss that i can put over top of it with lip balm before applying it's great that kind of a thing so yeah i expected it i expected to hate it and have a lot of problems with it but i just didn't and this is the one i bought from their website and i also tried just to make sure i tried the one that they sent me because they sent me a bunch this is the one i bought they sent me a bunch of them so i tried one of those two just to make sure and it was the same thing so um not as bad as i thought these were going to be but not a recommendation to run out and get these absolutely not unless you really really love a color like firebird this is worth it this is a good color this color pops um but yeah overall i would say it's not the best liquid lipstick formula so don't run out and go get it unless you really like one of the colors a lot of you wanted to know about this this is the nyx um what is it is it control total control drop foundation. Um, I have it in the shade. What shade did I get? I told you in the haul, but I think it's, what is it? Something that's weird. It's not even on the bottle here. It's not on the bottom or anything like that. Well, I told you in the other video what color I got. Um, yeah, it's a nice foundation. I really liked it. Uh, I had to get it to be uh, a good fit for my skin type by using 
a primer, you know, a really good mattifying primer for it to last all day. I noticed it is buildable, buildable to medium. Um, it can be very sheer, so if you like a like a sheer wash of color and you don't want, you know, you're afraid of a thick, thick um, foundation, this would be great. Um, it was buildable. I could get it to, you know, build up in areas where I need more coverage. I could get it to do that, so that was nice. And then as far as the mattifying acts aspect I could get a primer to do to make it more mattifying for me so overall I liked it I liked it a lot um, these essence lipsticks are great they're matte lipsticks I tried I got two of these and I tried one uh, one of them the other one isn't a good fit for me so I saved it for a friend but these are really really good because they're so inexpensive and um, Really, really nice matte lipstick. Nice creamy formula, so good stuff. Uh, the Milani, I got two of the new Milani highlighters, the uh, strobe lights. Um, this is Sun Glow number three, and I think I got, I guess it's number four. I really, really like these. Um, I prefer them wet, though, um, meaning I put them on and then spray a little, like, Fix Plus or something. I'm, even my setting spray, like, that make it last worked really well, too. Um, spraying the spray on, and then they really, really pop. Um, but overall, they're really nice. I think for the price point, these are great highlighters, and they have a couple shades. So if you are... Um, not exactly my skin tone. If you're a, a you know a lighter skin tone, there's something for you as well. I don't know. Like these are, I think the ones I got are good for you know my skin tone and deeper. Um, but yeah, they make a bunch of different colors. I think Milani is on fire. They are doing really good. Now this was sent to me by um, Alginist, and this is the uh, Power Recharging Night Pressed Serum. And this was really funny. It took me a long time because I didn't know what I was going to say to you about this. Um, my skin really, really likes this. It's two ounces and $95. So I can't really recommend it for you unless you really, really like luxury skincare. The thing about this is that um, I applied it to my face, neck, and my I would wake up in the morning and my skin just looked amazing. Um, so it is a really good product. Um, I don't know why my skin likes it though. That's the thing. I, I don't know what it is about it. I would say if you have some you know, concerns that are addressed in the claims, like, you know, aging skin, wanting to correct some things, it would be great. For me, what it did is just, it was a great moisturizer. And it just really overnight made my skin look very, very nice. And my skin was happy. Um, I didn't notice any kinds of changes with regard to my, the texture so of my skin. Or, um, that's Sadie. Sadie's howling. She's in her crate. Uh, the texture of my skin or um, the color, you know, the uh, it didn't help with like discoloration like my vitamin C does, that kind of a thing. So it's a nice, nice product. Um, something, you know, worth a try if you're into luxury skincare, but I can't say it's so amazing that for $95, any one of you needs to go out there and get it. And um, that's just the way that is. Now the Cover FX, I tried this, just in case you're wondering, because I'm already thinking about summer. This is their the Cover FX pressed mineral foundation and I wanted to try this because I'm so bare minerals matte foundation every year I break it out and everything like that and I already have my one on deck that I'm going to use but I wanted to try something else and uh, this is definitely fantastic and I'll be definitely using this this summer it's a really nice pressed mineral foundation they make great products uh, cover fx and uh, I really really enjoyed this I could see myself repurchasing and everything so this is a good good product I got the shade N90 for me, that's the uh, color I got, N90. And that's the same color I use in the drops. Um, you know, they're drops that you can add to anything. You can add them like to your moisturizer, that kind of a thing, and kind of turn whatever product you want to into like a, you know, BB cream or somewhat like a foundation. You can use it to color correct your foundation as well, which is kind of cool. I've used it for that and it is very helpful with that. Um, okay guys, that's everything I have for you right now. I'm glad I was able to do this last minute for you and tell you about a few products. I have other products left um, to tell you about, so there'll be a review video in the future about those, but thought I'd tell you about these today and uh, say hi. I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.